Welcome back to the preview show. Hello, hey, hey, welcome. Hey. I'm Casey Campbell. That's Jonathan Fiel, but you know that. Um, we're here to talk about Atlanta, the second Atlanta race, and then the trucks are going to Knoxville. Practice actually starts in about an hour. Um, hi. Hi. Hello. It's it's good to be back after I think it was two weeks ago we did our last preview show. So it's good to be back. Yeah. Thanks, <laughs> Michael Carey, for helping me out last week. Um, so yeah, it's definitely, uh, we're heading to Knoxville for the trucks and, uh, what a weekend it will, before, before we get to that, you were la at la you were at Road America last week. How was it? Yes, I was. Uh, Road America was awesome. I was there for the Sunday cup series race, the jockey 250, and yeah. uh, Chase Elliott, of course, was the winner. Just a great atmosphere being there. Around 100,000 people attended, according to the track. And you know, when you were walking around there, you could tell that there was an aura of excitement. There was an aura of freedom. No pun intended with the holiday, of course. But people just glad to be back at the racetrack, glad to be hanging out. And I had a really good time being there. It was my first ever road course race. Being back in the infield, too, in the scrums. It, just an awesome time. If you have not been to a road course race, check it out. It's a very unique experience getting to walk around to different places on the track. And they're just an awesome time there. Great racing, too. I've been I've been to a road course race, but not a NASCAR road course race. And actually, it was, you know, of course, I was at Detroit for IndyCar. So, yeah, it's fun. So, yeah, fun stuff. Good work, good racing weekend out in uh, out at Road America. Well, mm -hmm. let's go. Let's the big headline this week uh, is Atlanta Motor Speedway. And they announced earlier this week that the track is going to change. So. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so the track, so it's going to get repaved, but it's also going to get reconfigured. So a couple key points from this and the banking is going to increase from 24 to 28. And the width of the track is going to decrease. So it's good. What the goal is to create more closer racing. And it's going to do just that. And it's gotten an interesting reaction from drivers, fans, and really everybody. Yes, it has. That's, that's, that's a very fair way of saying it. Uh, you know, Denny Hamlin has had some very strong comments about the repay well not necessarily the repay but the reprofiling of the track and talking just n not even about the nature of the reprofiling of the track just talking about the nature of tracks choosing to reconfigure more more specifically smi denny hamlin was very hard on smi I, it, some of the comments i heard was that half of their projects over the last 15, 20 years have not worked out to fruition. And that might even be a nice way of paraphrasing what Denny said. And other things such as track promoters shouldn't be in the track designing business. And a lot of, I guess the big thing too is also driver, uh, the, the drivers informing what was going to happen with the reprofiling of the track. Is, that was another point that Denny brought up that they weren't, consulted of course there were some other things too that marcus smith had said i think joey logano had also said that drivers had been consulted so some conflicting views i know kyle larson also had some comments on the atlanta Motor speedway repave and reconfiguration and of course with kyle larson i i don't think he would have a positive comment about seeing the track repave considering it's a fast and slick racetrack but it made some comments similar to Denny's, not necessarily calling out SMI, but more along the lines of the nature of the racing and what they're trying to aim to do with bringing more pack racing. So it's 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 going to be an interesting project and see to see how this all unfolds. Sounds interesting. We'll have to wait until 2022 to figure that out. Um, yeah. So really anything besides that we you know we got to talk about the truck series because i just realized this they're going to go to knoxville this weekend they only have two more races left to not this weekend and the race at the Glen, and then we're into the playoffs yeah so 
a lot of drivers are trying to make sure they get in into the playoffs. I haven't taken a look at the grid. I probably should have, but what, what do you think about that at heading in there? Who do you think uh, has to, you know, really solidify themselves to get in this, this truck playoffs? There's only 10 drivers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think of someone like Johnny Sauter, who for the second season in a row is 12th in points, you know, outside of a playoff spot, needing to, uh, needing to get into the playoffs, needing something to happen. It's, it's crazy to see him in this position. Uh, of course he's, uh, behind in, in the play. I, I think Chandler Smith is another driver too. He's just ahead of Johnny Sauter. Uh, just needing something to happen. Of course, Chandler, you know, he is looking to hang on to a playoff spot. But, you know, it's, it's uh, I think just heading into this weekend, we could see maybe a wild card driver, which we'll talk a little bit more about. And you could probably mention it too. Uh, just with the nature of the racing that's going on, you know, and, you know, who can beat Toyota too? Because we've seen John Hunter Nemechek, Ben Rhodes. We've seen, you know, just the Kyle Busch, of course, be so dominant, but now heading to a dirt track, I think that's going to level the playing field some. Yeah. I mean, Chevrolet has won, you know, a race this year. Ford's won some races this year. So we'll, we'll, we're just going to have to see once uh, we get to these next two races and stuff. Okay. So we're going to go to Atlanta. Um, let's talk about Xfinity for a minute, and then we'll get into the, f- the fun part of the show. Uh, that's where we actually get to pick winners and stuff. <laughs> um, so <laughs> Kyle Busch, this is his last scheduled Xfinity start of the year. What do you yeah. And kind of, kind of going off of that, he has said that there are, so far have no races been sold for him next year. This could be the last time we see Kyle Busch in the Xfinity series. Yeah, I, I, I think that could happen, or do you think we could, uh, you know, never say never, he might come back? I think I think this might be it for Kyle. You know, he's won 102 races. He's done. And he's won 101 races. 101. I'm getting ahead of myself he here. He wins 102. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself here for what we'll be doing a little bit later. But yeah, he's he's won 101 races. He's done everything he possibly could do in the series. I, I think that this is the time. I think he is aware of you know, just what fans are thinking, just of the mark he's made on the series. And I think I don't think we'll see Kyle Busch in a car next year. Now, beyond that point. Of course, we heard Kevin Harvick say, okay, I'm retiring. I'm not going to race Xfinity anymore, and then comes back and runs some races. So maybe we could see Kyle Busch in Xfinity car in the future. But I think after this season, I think Kyle Busch will be done with Xfinity. Of course, he'll still be in the truck series competing for his own team. but um, And, of course, he'll be in the cup series as well. But it'll be interesting to see how the Xfinity series does. Uh, you know next year all right time to make some picks we're going to uh we're going to go to hot Atlanta. but first before we even go to atlanta we got to pick for knoxville who you got Ooh, all right so you know it's the first ever race at knoxville for the nascar camp world truck series yeah i think i i'm very excited for it because this is my home track home game here I'm going to pick a home guy and he's got a good ride for this weekend. I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick Donnie shots. I think Donnie shots will get the Ooh, win. I'll we'll go Donnie, Donnie shots. <laughs> well, I like the, I like your pick cause I'm going with him as well. So Donnie shots. Yeah. He's oh. uh, he's going to get it done. He's going to yeah. get it done. the dude's an absolute legend world of outlaws. And he was on the podcast a few weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I'm, well, yeah, okay. one, one one guy I was going to mention too who needs a really needs a good run, uh, Tyler Ankrum. He also needs a good run. Thirty three uh, points outside of the playoffs. It would be great to see him have a good run this weekend and uh, possibly solidify a spot in the playoffs. Yeah, all we can remember, all four GMS trucks made the playoffs last year, so mm-hmm. it's uh, definitely for, definitely for sure going to be needing a good run from the twenty six bunch. Okay, so let's go to the Xfinity series. 
Um, let's get this out of the way. I got yeah, yeah. Kyle's gonna get it done. Kyle, of course, yeah. I'm talking about Kyle Bush. He's gonna win it. He's really good at Atlanta. So yeah, I got the 54. He's got a green car this weekend. It's uh it's gonna be fun. Yeah, I have to go with Kyle Bush too. Kyle Kyle Bush, good at Atlanta. Uh last race, I think you'll wanna well last race for now. We don't know for sure. But I think you'll want to go out on top with his final race. So I, I, I'm going to pick Kyle Busch too. Never say never. Um, okay. Well, you got the big cup race, the uh, the Quaker State 400. Big time uh, big time race for, for that for sure. Who you got in that one? I believe in redemption. And therefore, I believe in Kyle Larson winning this weekend. My goodness did you t- you must have looked at my picks because i'm kidding too goodness, great. wow this is the first time ever <laughs> in the history of this show and that we i mean tift and i picked probably about the same thing but mm-hmm. but this is the first time that we've picked every single pick the you, you, you know sometimes i like to mix it up a little bit but this time around we yeah. gotta go yeah, you got to go. Right, cool. yeah, but this is uh, this has been pretty good because uh, we're entering in a – we got two more races. We got Atlanta. We got New Hampshire. Then we're off for the Olympics. And then for the NASCAR Cup Series and Xfinity Series, it's – when we get to Watkins Glen, it's going to be straight shot to the championship. There are no off weeks. Of course, you know, two off weeks for the Olympics. But, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. You forgot to mention one thing, too. What's that? Congratulations on going full time with the Great Lakes Post. Oh, thank. Yeah. Thank <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No problem. That's uh, there. There is a lot. There is a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. There's a lot more to come, though. I can't say it publicly yet. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, definitely for sure. Keep uh, keep your eye out for that. And uh, speaking of that, do you want to? Not yet. You want to not say? You you want to say? Not quite yet. Okay. All right. We'll wait. <laughs> he, has, he has an announcement too, and uh, he'll be uh, he'll be announcing that in a few weeks. But uh, I, yeah. I, I need I need the pen emoji, you know. The pen emoji, okay. <laughs> I I didn't, yeah. So, but yeah, I can talk about my I can talk about some of it, but I I, I can't talk about all of it just yet. So, yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right, fun races this weekend. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll catch, that's the preview show for this week. You know who that is and you know who I am. We will catch you next week when we talk about New Hampshire.